Thank you. Um, many of you should have heard about Wattpad, but uh, not a lot of people know this company actually started almost 10 years ago. Uh, but the idea actually started in year 2002, uh, almost 15 years ago. At that point in time, I was the CTO and co-founder of my first company. It's called Tira Wireless. Uh, it's a mobile gaming company, so we did uh, NHL Power Shot Hockey, and we also help other gaming publishers like Disney, for instance. Uh, they're finding Nemo and pretty much all the games. Uh, 15 years ago, if you had a chance to download uh, Finding Nemo on your Nokia phone, that was done by my company. But um, in my spare time, I really wanted to do something that I enjoy. I'm not saying I don't enjoy gaming, but uh, in my spare time, there's one thing I really want to do is read. So um, I wanted to build a mobile reading app on the Candy Bar Nokia phone. So I did that prototype, and uh, what I discovered was I couldn't even read a single sentence because the screen was so tiny. I knew that the user experience was, was just too poor uh, for, for me to pursue that idea. So I didn't really, um, uh, I stopped that idea, basically. <laughs> so fast forward to year 2006. Uh, at that point in time, the most popular phone was no longer the Nokia phone. It was the Motorola Razr. And uh, uh, the, the screen size was bigger than like four lines of text. I could read 10 lines of text at a time. So I was actually getting very excited. I resurrected that idea in my basement. Um, and uh, October 2006, um, I was busy coding. And one day in, in that month, in October 2006, uh, a very good friend of mine, uh, his name is Ivan Yun, he instant messaged me from Vancouver. Um, Ivan uh, used to work for Tira as well, so I knew him for so many years. And that's what he said in the instant message. Hey, Alan, I'm working on a new product idea. Here is the link. Can you give me some feedback? So um, I click on that link. Guess what I saw? He was working on the same thing. He built a mobile reading app for the Razor phone. But he was one step ahead of me. Not only he built the, the mobile reading app, he also built a website where people can share their writings. As you can see, this is the predecessor of Wattpad. And what I'm showing you here is a picture that I took in my basement in early 2007 when we first launched the product. A mobile reading app, reading Moby Dick. That's what we did at that time. Almost 10 years later, this is what we do today. Obviously, very, very different. Uh, it's a full-blown reading app for writers, for readers, with video, images, animated GIFs, sound, comments. Writers can build the fan base using this product. It's drastically different, and yet you can see the origin of the product was still the same thing that we did in year 2000 and six or year 2007. So last month, people spent over 45, uh, 15 billion minutes on Wattpad, and there were over 45 million people around the world using the product. And every second, we are signing up one new user, and every minute, there are 24 hours of writing uploaded to Wattpad. It really is a new form of entertainment. So before I continue, I would like to ask you to spend one minute to watch this video. It will give you the context of what I'm going to talk about. Day in, day out, people floated by her. Strangers with only cursory familiarity, aiming for a quick fix, and then poof, off into the world. She knew the routine well enough. Grind, pull, pour. Grind, pull, pour. Grind, pull, pour. Alicia's daily grind was wearing her down. She was sleepwalking through life and no amount of caffeine could wake her up. 
She wasn't sure when he'd arrived, but the old man had been sitting at the end of the bar for hours. And I'm here to tell you all of it, about a destiny far bigger than one coffee shop. Mira esto. Can I get an Americano, please? Excuse me. Sure. Thanks. Let me continue the WordPress story. So this is the screenshot I took also in January 2007, the first version that we launched. There are a few things that I want to highlight, but one thing that I do want to highlight specifically is on, the, on your left-hand side, you see 10 different languages. Because when we first launched, we know that there are only 300 million people. Their first language is English. There are six billion people out there. Their first language is not English. So we knew that English may not be the first, version, uh, first language to take off on Wattpad, and we were right. Um, in fact, the first language to take off on, on Wattpad was Vietnamese. Don't, don't ask me why, it's kind of random. But what we did at the time, we were bootstrapping, we did not know, we did not have the money to translate the website, so in a way we were all faking it. The product works exactly the same. Doesn't matter which language you click on. We were just faking it because we want to be more welcoming to Spanish-speaking people, to the French-speaking people. But uh, otherwise, um, the font may be very small, as you can see at the very top. Uh, it's called read and share you know, stories on your mobile phone, and this is still what we are doing today. So um, we launched the product in January 2007. And uh, um, when I um, came back from Vancouver, you know, Ivan was uh, uh, living in Vancouver at, the, at that time. When I came back from Vancouver, I was telling my wife, hey, mark my word, uh, I'm going to start my, uh, a new company with Ivan together to do this, and mark my word, a year from now, someone is going to pay a billion dollars to buy this company. We are going to sign up a million users in the first month. So uh, why I was saying a billion dollars? Because what we, had do what we were doing, very similar to YouTube. It's just that YouTube was focusing on video, we were focusing on text. And uh, uh, YouTube was bought by Google for $1.6 billion in September 2006. So, you know, what I was telling my wife was basically, you know, I'm, I'm not that greedy, I only look for a billion dollars, you know, the people so the other company for 1.6. So, um, we started the company, we launched the product, and I was absolutely right, spot on. Remember, I, I just said we would sign up a million users in the first month. We did that, except that we missed by a few zeros. We signed up exactly 100 users in the first month. And after almost a year, we signed up about a thousand people. There were a thousand active users, mainly reading classic books. Remember I showed you Moby Dick, right? That's how we started. We had no content. So the only thing we could do at that time was, imported, uh, was to import the uh, Pride and Prejudice, Charles Dickens, and all those classic books. So uh, about a year after we started the company, um, we had a thousand active users, we put some banner ads on the website to generate some income, but um, uh, the income was very small. 
And we had one, this conversation, I had this conversation with Ivan. He, he was coming back to Toronto uh, on vacation uh, to attend a wedding. So we went out for a cup of coffee, and that's what I told him. Hey, Ivan, we, we've been doing this for one year, and uh, we only had a 1,000 users. It's a free product. We only uh, use advertising to generate some income. And last month, we, we got a check from Google, and it's $2, just enough to buy this cup of coffee. And we had to share. Warpad is not working. So we were kind of depressed. We were thinking, should we kind of give up? But um, at the end, we, we believe in what we were planning to do. We still want to continue because both Ivan and I, we love to read. And we believe that over a longer period of time, the phone capabilities would, would be getting better. Uh, people would be using this product. We just need a bit more time. And uh, at that point in time, because we had not much traffic, our hosting costs, guess what? We only pay $5 per month. So we, we were $3 away from break even. That was one of the reasons why we keep going. So we continue. And uh, another year went by. Uh, in November 2006, two years start, we started, after we started the company, this teenage girl, from the UK was the first ever writer on Wattpad. We waited two years before someone posted a first piece of content on Wattpad. It was a teenage romance story, and uh, she was um, a very outgoing person, and I believe she invited all her friends. She probably spammed all her friends, check out my story, it's great, come and check it out. So uh, she probably brought on like 50 of her friends, and those friends, they were telling some of their friends as well. So one writer became two, two became four, four became eight. And today, in the last 30 days, there were two million people uploaded at least one chapter on Wattpad, two million writers. And that's probably larger than the entire publishing industry combined. And the amount of content that they upload in the last 30 days was 15 million chapters. And I did the calculation. If we print all those uh, 15 million chapters on paperback and stack them up, uh, every month we are creating one and a half new Mount Everest. So another uh, nine months um, went by. Um, and uh, as you may recall, in August 2008, Apple launched the App Store. And in September 2008, Google launched Android. So the world was officially transitioning from feature phones to smartphones. So we launched our app on the App Store, on Android, and BlackBerry App World as well. And uh, for some of you old time Wattpad users, you may remember in 2009, the product name was a little bit different, and that's the reason. When we launched on, on, on BlackBerry, um, we got uh, zero download. Why? Because for some reason, the BlackBerry people, they sorted the, the, the app store alphabetically. And we were at W. No, you have to scroll a million times before you can find us. So uh, we changed the product name to 1,000 free books Wattpad so that we can you know, get to the top, right? So uh, two days after we changed that, we became the number one app in the, under the book category. Awesome, right? Uh, but two days later, um, BlackBerry pulled our app from the App Store. The reason? They found someone posted Harry Potter on Wattpad. So they found some copyright infringing material, uh, which um, is something that we wanted to stop anyway. We have been working on a filter to filter out uh, all those uh, copyright infringing material. So um, pretty quickly, uh, BlackBerry reinstated our, our, our app. But uh, there was a funny anecdote that we, we experienced at that time. At about the same time, I received this email from a user in Africa. 
And this is life-changing for me because uh, when I first started, as you may recall, I, I told my wife, hey, someone is going to spend a billion dollars to buy this company. I want to build a successful company. I still want to, don't get me wrong. You know, I still want to, want to do that. But I didn't realize what we built at that time could have such an impact in people's lives. It changed my perspective in this venture. So in January 2010, we started our first ever writing contest. It's called uh, Share What You Have Written at the time, but now we changed the, uh, the name to Wally's Awards. It was the first year we did the writing contest, and last year, it became the largest online writing contest in the world with 80,000 submissions. So this one um, is a message that's sent to me mm -hmm from one of the winners, uh, not the winners, uh, the parents of one of the winners. The, the winner, she was a 20-year-old uh, writer, and uh, um, uh, because we had to send, uh, send the, the prize money, it's $100, we want to send them through PayPal, but she doesn't, does not have a PayPal account, so she brought her, her parents for the transfer. That's why I was talking to her, but anyway, that's uh, beyond the point. Um, what she was telling me was this, and then she was telling me over the phone, thank you so much for creating Wattpad. Thank you so much for helping my daughter. She actually suffered from dyslexia. Thank you so much. You helped her to regain her confidence. That's another example of, uh, of the impact that we can have uh, on people's lives. So, um, more than three years after we started the company, uh, we finally, finally had our first office. Before that, we were all working from home. We, didn't even, we couldn't even afford an office. So this is a picture that we took in our first office. It's a 200 square feet place, uh, not much larger than this you know, podium here. And we packed 11 people. That's only how much we could afford. And to take this picture, I, uh, I had to ask our neighbor to, to help us. He literally need, need to step outside of the room to take a picture, to capture everyone. So when uh, Ivan needs to walk out of the room, he's the one on, on the top right, he to walk out of the room, he has to push everyone aside. That's how small we were. So um, it was a really crappy office. So um, nine months later, we moved from one crappy office to another crappy office. It's larger, but uh, one thing that we did not know uh, when we look at the office, because when we check out the, the space, it was in the morning. And then the first day after we moved in, in the afternoon, we discovered that our neighbor was a pediatrician. How did I know that? What do they do? What, what, what do pediatricians do? Shots, right? When baby taking shots, what do they do? Cry. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 1 p.m. sharp, for four hours, we'll be hearing baby crying nonstop. We, we spent about a year and a half in this new crappy office. So five years after we started the company, in August 2011, we finally re uh, accumulated one million registered users. Remember, our goal was to sign up a million users in the first month. It took us five years to get there. And we are almost 10 years in our journey now. Cumulatively, we signed up close to 100 million people, of which like 45 million are active. So. Um, it's a long journey. And then in December that year, uh, we moved to another office. And uh, in our open house, we invited Margaret Atwood to, to join us. And, and she actually came. And uh, uh, we played foosball together. And it was the first time she played foosball. Um, but one thing, embarrassingly, I have to admit, uh, we lost to her. 
She was very good. I don't know how could that be possible. So another year uh, came and gone um, in September 2012. One of our pop most popular writers, she's a teenage girl uh, in the UK. At that time, she just completed her degree English major from University of Cambridge. Uh, but at that time, she was one of the most popular writers on Wattpad, and she got a, a six-figure book deal from HarperCollins, and she became one of the youngest writers ever get published in the UK. So um, th there were a lot of interest in the media. BBC was interviewing her. I, I, I was interviewed by Sky News, and if you had a chance to be in the UK uh, during that week, we were everywhere, she was everywhere. But there's one problem for us. Her story is no longer on Wattpad because it's published. People, you know, her publisher pulled the, the story away from Wattpad. So I'm losing one of my, our most popular writers. So um, it's, um, to, to me I have to admit I was struggling. Should I be happy or should I be upset? But uh, at the end I overcame that. Um, I realized that I don't have to capture all the values. You know, if we can create more values that we can capture, that's perfectly okay. In November 2013, when we celebrated our seventh anniversary, we handpicked seven stories from Wattpad that are very meaningful. Um, on the top right, is a writer, she's 84 years old. She was a published writer, but she lost her passion because of illness. And uh, she discovered uh, Wattpad when she was 84 years old. And because of that, she regained her passion and started writing again. In the middle, a soldier from the US, she he, he was deployed to Afghanistan and uh, suffer from post-traumatic uh, depression. And sh he was using Wattpad to share his writings and use that to help him cure his depression. And on the bottom left is, uh, is a blind writer. He's legally blind. But someone gave him an Android tablet a few years ago with Wattpad pre-installed and using that app because of the accessibility feature on, on the Android operating system, he was able to not only read, but write on Wattpad. And he became a very popular writer on Wattpad now. And there are many, many other stories that I can share. And nine and a half years later, um, we are 110 people company. Uh, we uh, based in Toronto, our office is across the street at Young and Wellington. This is the entire Wattpad team. So this is a short version of our journey. But one thing that I want to highlight is we are based in Toronto. We are a Canadian company, but our ambition is very, very global. And over 70% of our traffic today is coming from outside of North America. Number one is U.S., and number two is Philippines. 10% of our traffic is coming from Philippines, and I'm going to use this as an example, to, as a showcase. We have similar phenomenon in Turkey, in Mexico, in Brazil, in many parts of the world, but I'm just using Philippines to highlight. We have 45 million monthly users, and over 5 million of them, they are in the Philippines. Over 500 stories on Wattpad has been published traditionally. So if you go to the bookstore in the Philippines, you would see a, a genre called Wattpad. It's a category, it's a section. You can see this in every single bookstore. But not only books. We just launched a new division called Wattpad Studios. And what is that? Wattpad Studio is uh, basically a partnership to co-produce really popular Wattpad stories for print, film, 
TV shows, and other digital platforms. So in the Philippines, if you turn on the TV, uh, in fact, um, uh, uh, a friend of mine is, is telling me he's using uh, Bell Satellite uh, Television, and he was able to watch this show on, on Bell as well. Um, it's a show called What Pet Presents. Uh, we co-produce with TV5, one of the largest TV networks in the Philippines. And every week, Monday to Friday, primetime television for half an hour, you can watch a What Pet Story in five episodes. And uh, you can see uh, if you um, driving along the highway in Manila, you can see the billboard of the show as well. So not only TV shows. In the past three years, the top uh, movie in the box office, um, two years ago it was number one, last year it was number two. They were all originate from, from Marpet. So why it works globally? Hmm. The font doesn't quite work on, on this machine. And never mind, you, you can see that. Why does it work? Why does it work so well globally? Number one, 90% of our traffic is coming from mobile. In today's world, you don't go to your PC and look for entertainment. You go to your phone, you go to your tablet, you may turn on your TV, but that's how you look for entertainment. And 90% of our traffic is coming from mobile. And number two, it's a cloud-based service, so I really, understand uh, what your reading taste is. Uh, and if you want to read fan fiction, I can recommend more fan fiction to you. If you're a science fiction lover, I can recommend more science fiction to you. This, this one is also very, very easy to understand. But um, point number three is, is, is our secret sauce. It's one of our most powerful secret sauces. Because every single writer on Wattpad, they write serially, it's chapter by chapter. So it's like watching a TV episode. Every chapter at the end, there's a cliffhanger. You have to wait until the next chapter is written. And every time when a chapter is uploaded to Wattpad, we send a push notification, email notifications to bring, them, bring people back to spend five or 10 minutes for that chapter. And that works really well in today's world because, att because attention span is getting so short. Asking someone to spend five hours to, to read a book is very difficult. But asking someone to spend five minutes to read a chapter, easy ask. Number four, um, Wattpad is not just about content. Uh, it's a community. We connect the writers and, uh, and the readers. In the traditional publishing industry, you know, if you buy a traditional book, whether it's uh, a paper book from the bookstore or uh, reading on your Kindle or Kobo, if you really want to talk to a writer, not possible. There's no one reading with you together. It's a very solitary experience. But on Wattpad, it's very different. It's a community. And because of that, it's a good segue into point number five. The readers, they are not just reading. They are part of, they feel like they're part of the story. They create fan art, they create book covers, they create video trailers. If you go to YouTube, you can find millions of YouTube trailers created by, mostly by the readers. And interestingly, they can even change the storyline because Wattpad writers, they upload chapter by chapter. The next chapter has not been written yet. If you are a reader, you can post comments. This is what I want to see in the next chapter. And the writer can, can adjust and adapt. And finally, you know, international, we support over 50 different languages, and that's why it's a global phenomenon. And we created the environment where local people can write local relevant content for local people. People in Philippines, they write about jitney, you know. People in Mexico, they talk about Mexican food. People in Colombia, they talk about their local culture. And that local relevancy is so important. So why Wattpad is so disruptive? I think you, you get this by now, but I just want to repeat that. With unlimited supply of content, every 
10 minutes, we have 5,000 uploads. And if you look at Random House, they published 5,000 books in the last 100 days. And the contents is also very unique that you cannot find them anywhere else. And we built the community. And of course, it's free. However, there are 7 billion mobile devices out there. There are 5 billion people who can read or write. And we only captured only 45 million of those users. We are barely 1% of where we want to be. And we can expand into different content type, from comics to nonfiction to even TV shows and movies. Even though we are very strong internationally, there's still many countries that we haven't fully conquered. You know, Africa, you know, India, we are okay, but we are not as strong as we want to be. There are a billion people over there. We have only a million users in India. So um, it's a very, very exciting future for me but it all comes down to one thing. And I want to share this tweet that I saw from the United Nations. They sent this out two years ago. And remember, when I told my wife, when I first started the company, I told her, mark my word, a year from now, someone is going to pay a billion dollars to buy this company. Of course, as you know, that has not happened. Otherwise, I would not be standing here talking to you. That being said, I'm, I'm, I'm beyond that now because I believe I've already brought home a billion dollars, just not my home. Thank you.